Our State Farm assist of the game. I was hoping we'd get a chance to see this one again. Thank you, Lonnie, and the truck for showing. But it's uh, passing like this that makes the basketball purists happy. This is the beauty of the game right here. The Clippers shooting just phenomenal here tonight. And so here are the Clippers. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Farmard issues to Bullock. And the pass to Crawford. Clock at six. Nice shot from 10 feet out. Crawford's got eight here in the quarter. Well, I tell you what, when you get this kind of effort and efficiency from him, they're a really hard team to beat. Good checked in for Utah. And the Clippers making a change here as well. James checked in for Reggie Bullock. The Jazz have gone four of seven for the field since the beginning of the fourth. There's a good screen. Here's Hayward. And James pulls it down. He has not been on his game. And, you know, their deficit isn't totally on him, but he has not helped the situation. Here's Kamen. Good. And the assist goes to James. Yes. 11 points James. for Chris Kamen. And we're seeing the shots just dropping from everywhere right now. Yeah, since halftime, Steve. They've been operating very efficiently. Exum kicks to Hood. Nice ball movement by Utah. Favors sets the pick for Hayward. Passes it to Hood. Shot clock at six. Dishes it to Favors. Shot's good. That's how to orchestrate for your teammate. Terrific pass. The Clippers have gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. From deep, James, James, and that one's good. This is unbelievable. What a shooting exhibition we're seeing out there today. For Utah, they've gone 5 for 9 from the field in the final quarter so far. Hood kicks to Exum. He dishes it to Hayward. Takes the 3. And it's Hayward again missing. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. James, the pass to Keenan. Three-pointer. Sticks another. Three more from James. James has got a couple of three-pointers now in the fourth for the Clippers. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time getting the lid off the basket so far. A shot by Hayward, wide open, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. How about that? They respond to a three-pointer with a, a quick three of their own. Yeah, terrific. Great back and forth sequence right there. Farmer dishes to James. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Utah's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Exum kicks to Hood. The dish to Hayward. Five to shoot. It seems like nothing is falling for him this quarter. He's really out of his rhythm. Here's James. And a great assist by Farmar as that one goes in. Farmar's got six assists now in the game. Here's Hood, guarded by Crawford. Favors sets the pick for Exum. Chris Kamen with the rebound. Kamen's got six rebounds now in the game. On the wing, James. Again, Los Angeles. Boy, they've gone on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. Exum passes to Favors. He kicks it to Exum. Fires it up. 
Misses off the left iron. L.A. has gotten three of their six three-pointers to fall here in the fourth. Crawford dishes to James. With the shot. And again, the Clippers good for two. Well, that puts the nail in the coffin. A clinic in terms of how to play with the lead right there. Jazz have gone only 6 of 14 from the field in the fourth. 146 left in the fourth quarter. Favors sets the pick for Exum. Pass to Hood. Now here's Exum. Three-pointer. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. James has got rebound number 15 here tonight. And we head to the final buzzer in a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. This will go in the books as a really gaudy win for the Clippers. Agreed, Steve. And as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was spot on. And so now, on the year, they'll have 35 wins to their credit. Well, they've put themselves in the driver's seat as it applies to this season series. The win will give them a 2-1 edge with one game left. And, you know, no matter what happens next time they meet, I think this was the biggest game they'll play against each other this season. Getting that 2-1 advantage means a lot. Beyond the actual result of this game, I think fans are going to look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for James. You can do a lot to change a game other than scoring, and it was his quick hands on defense that put them in the driver's seat. Here's what Utah is going with right now. Trevor Booker, he's checked in now for Gobert. Mike Scott comes in for Derek Favors. And Ian Clark subbed in for Exum. Farmar kicks to James. This one for three, and that one's good. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as the visitors. You're right. That's not usually the way things work in the NBA. It's a great win, and no question, it's going to be a happy plane ride out of here. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Clark kicks to Hayward. All sorts of time, and James pulls it down. And the layup's James. good off the glass. A serious game-clinching run. They've taken off here. Impressive. No backing off. What a surge at the right time. Clark off target. So the Clippers winning this one easily. How much to be critical of with this win, Clark? Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? 